So our brick fanatic, Sunbeam Firelock Daigar, it's Lunar New Year. Of course it is, because, I mean, it's in two months, but it's Lunar New Year, because the LEGO Group has unveiled their Lunar New Year 2024 sets, and these are absolutely spectacular. I mean, obviously, these sets are always gorgeous, but this year in particular, the LEGO designers have absolutely outdone themselves and made something spectacular, which is saying something because these are often some of the most beautiful sets of any given year. What's particularly exciting for some members of the Chinese diaspora around the world, uh, or indeed cinephiles like myself, is that for the first time, one of the original ideas from these Lunar New Year sets is being made available worldwide, rather than only being released in the Asia market, which is to say, we're getting a family dinner set. LEGO 80101 Chinese New Year's Eve Dinner was one of the very first Lunar New Year sets ever to be released, uh, and it's absolutely spectacular, and for those people who don't live in the Asia area who wanted to get hold of one, tough luck, because this was back in the day when most LEGO sets that were aimed at a specific market were only released in those specific markets. Now, finally, the LEGO Group has changed that, and of course these Lunar New Year sets go out worldwide, which is brilliant because they are returning to the idea of of a family dinner with one of these new sets. 80113 Family Reunion Celebration is the largest LEGO Lunar New Year set that we've had to date, and it is absolutely spectacular with 1,823 pieces. Uh, even if you're not necessarily that fussed about Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, this is a set that is definitely going to appeal to a lot of city builders because it's basically a little building that can fit with a range of different LEGO buildings of different sizes, whether it's connected to the modulars uh, or whether it's going to go with some of the Creator 3 in 1 LEGO buildings that we've had in recent years. Either way, it's just going to look phenomenal and it's going to add a little bit of extra culture and class to whatever you put it next to. Indeed, earlier in the year at the Recognized LEGO Fan Media Days, we were lucky enough to have this set shown off to us uh, by a LEGO designer uh, who had a lot of interesting insights into how this set was put together and how it differs from some that have come before and how they came back to this idea of revisiting the family dinner scene. Take it away. So for 2024, 20, oh. Something to the door. Oh. We have this. Oh. Everything tipped over. Sorry. Um, what we have here is a um, we say a new take on kind of the uh, the initial the, the very first CTF set or, or Spring Festival set did with the family dinner, and we kind of want to celebrate that again. So we're doing this uh, family reunion dinner. So we have the entire family uh, as part of the minifigure setup or a lineup, um, but this time in, in a uh, two-tier uh, bigger Chinese uh, uh, restaurant. So um, for minifigures, as I said, we, we have the entire um, family, so granddad and grandma, and the husband and wife and the two kids. And then we have staff. So we have like uh, uh, the, the older uh, servant uh, and, and we say clerk or, or, or uh, the reception. We have the chef uh, ready to, to do some, some cooking in the kitchen. And we have the, uh, a, a younger servant. Then we have our, uh, our younger uh, couple that has also been seen in, in some of our previous uh, Spring Festival sets. And lastly but not least, we have our, what we call the, like the tourist or, or, or like a more uh, generic um, uh, girl, kind of um, exploring uh, the fantastic scene of, of, of this uh, scenario. So diving into the model, uh, let me just put this up. It comes in, uh, in yeah, two tiers and, and actually also a rooftop. Uh, on the rooftop we have uh, this small uh, setting, kind of thought of as a, a romantic outdoor um, uh, uh, lunar uh, New Year uh, romantic dinner for the couple. It might be a bit cold, so there's a patio heater. Um, we have some some uh, Lunar New Year uh, or, or um, uh, <coughs> decorations. We have an updated uh, lantern uh, with a uh, dragon decoration, as uh, next year will be the year of the dragon. Uh, some flowers, and then there is this small recess with uh, some fireworks. We can, uh, a bit inspired by modular buildings, we can take the roof off and let me just turn it over. 
So and I'll take these up. And then uh, on the inside here, on second tier, we have again the the big round family um, uh, family uh, dinner table um, with various food and yeah, chopsticks and decorations. It also comes with a, a new uh, round one by one tile with uh, a noodle decoration. Mm -hmm. Uh, that one will also come in, in other sets, but this one actually features seven of them, so <laughs> good purchase there. Um, and then it also comes with a, a karaoke corner and the karaoke machine. As you can see, the dad is all crazy about karaoke, can be taken out for further play. Lastly, but not least, a, a, a small uh, 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 toilet or bathroom for cleaning. And again, we can Take this off, and here on the back side, or in the, in the ground level, we have a, a reception area. We can remove this to access for the play in the reception area. The reception area also uh, features a fish tank with both uh, exterior and interior view. And then we have uh, this uh, staircase up to the first floor, and we have um, the kitchen that comes uh, various equipment, the stove, uh, some picking uh, duck uh, for preparation. And yeah, that's about it on the interior. Exterior, we have a lot, tried to put in a lot of small details like, um, like Chinese uh, lunar calligraphy decorations. There's a flower market, which is also super, super important. Uh, there's a small uh, fruit stand that actually comes with a, a novelty element for us. Um, which you also see in, uh, I think you saw in, in the monkey kit with the, our peach element. Um, and then, yeah, here on, on the outside, the fish tank as mentioned. Uh, last but not least, uh, it also comes with a dim sum card, both for interior and exterior play, and then an exterior um, food cart or food truck, if you a minifigure I did not mention is our uh, dragon uh, festive guy. Um, so we ca also come uh, kind of as a tradition with this new uh, molded helmet uh, with a dragon uh, helmet or dragon mask. So that's part of the uh, that's one of the novelty elements for this um, for this set, together with the peach. And then, as you can see, we have created this uh, new um, like window piece to go a bit more in the you see, Chinese um, Asian style than uh, compared to, to uh, the, the, the old Ninjago one. But they are actually, they are compatible. So all lines in them are actually uh, are aligned. So you can put them together to create uh, more, uh, you say, patterns or, or vivid patterns. I think that is it. It is, as when I look at it, as far as I can see, this will element-wise be uh, the biggest, um, not in size, but elements. It will be the biggest uh, uh, Spring Festival skew to date with uh, 1,823 elements, um, 13 minifigures, uh, seven new minifigure decorations, uh, two new novelty de uh, decorations in the set, and yeah, the, as I said, the novelty elements, the dragon helmet, the peach, and the window. And there are 19 of these in this set. To what extent were you, you mentioned modulars, to what extent were you considering the needs of those who might want to add this to like a, a larger city collection? It, 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 it has been up and it's a possibility. Uh, you can say I was very inspired by modular buildings. Um, you can say the, the base is, is a bit different. I, I wanted to be able to shape that. Uh, some more, but you can say it is it is something that we could potentially uh, expand on. Uh, so so yeah, it's definitely open. Thank you. Eight zero one one two auspicious dragon is made up of one thousand one hundred and seventy one pieces, and there have been a lot of Lego dragons over the years. But this is the best one, right? Look at it, just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the shield elements that are used as scales. Look at its pose. Look at, oh, it's just absolutely spectacular. Seriously, this thing is gorgeous. And again, whether or not you're a fan of Chinese New Year and whether or not that's something that you celebrate, this is gonna look spectacular on display.
But wait, there's still more. This isn't specifically a Lunar New Year set, but it's definitely aimed at the same market, and the hope is clearly to sell a lot of them over the festive period. 80054 Megopolis City. Megapolis City? Megapolis Megopolis. Meg 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 Anyway, it's a big old city and it's for Monkey Kid. Monkey Kid is a Danish toy company's best efforts at appealing to a Chinese market. It is based on The Journey to the West or The Legend of the Monkey King, one of the most seminal Chinese works of fiction, but at the same time also important because it is the one that most Westerners are the most familiar with. The Monkey Kid theme has grown from some fairly traditional sets at its start to being these absolutely bonkers, like explosions of pieces, just these huge, phenomenal, very complicated things, which kind of have the same vein to them, the same kind of design as, say, a Ninjago city building, but aimed at a slightly younger demographic. This one in particular definitely gives off vibes that they've like taken a lump of Play-Doh and just rolled it around in some Lego elements because it's just brimming with colour and just vibrancy and just all of this stuff everywhere. Stuff. It's kind of hard to look at it and get a clear idea of what you're looking at, but hidden away in here are some fantastic little Easter eggs and references for longtime Lego fans. There's a big chunk of Lego space in there, like the classic space. There's a brick-built version of the wooden duck, because of course there is. There is always a brick-built version of the Lego wooden duck. Now this set was also shown off to us at Recognize Lego Fan Media Days, which means that we also get to show you the Lego designers talking through this set. Take it away, guys. Yeah, I guess so let's, let's reveal. Let's reveal. Let's reveal. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how we, how we do these things. This is my first thing, right? So, yeah, this is uh, 80054 uh, Megapolis. Um, comes out in January. Um, and yeah, Shadow, I don't know if you can put some background to it. Yeah, so this is, uh, if, you, uh, if you know a little bit of the story of Monkey Kid, so this is where our heroes are living and, and also where the story started. And, um, and since. Uh, it will be launched uh, 2024, and uh, that's going to be the fifth year anniversary of Monkey Kid as uh, a theme. So uh, the special part of this model is like there is no conflict here. So everybody is celebrating the fifth year anniversary, even the villains from past years. So as you can see here, like we have like 16 special minifigures only for this model, and uh, they are having their own shops in the model so they have their own business there yeah. <laughs> so um and, and also you can probably see a bit like uh, it's also uh, you have uh, the shops in modules uh, so they can uh, be taken part away from the model also you can reorganize the model as you want uh, yeah, yeah, so um, much like the City of Lanterns that came out a few years ago and also the uh, Monkey Kid Team Hallied Out, this is completely modular. So you can remove sections as you want, you can uh, flip them round, you can reconnect and have a lot of fun. Uh, ooh, everything drops, it's always a good presentation. Uh, this splits up there and uh, also it's fully compatible um, with the, the City of Lanterns so you can take off this railway track and make an even bigger city. Shaodong actually has a picture I'll show you in the interviews of yeah. all of the three sets combined. Because yeah. that's what we wanted is these little modules that you can take on yeah, your adventures or create your own. Um, as Shaodong said, the 16 awesome figures, uh, all designed by the awesome Paul Takani, uh, who stood next to me, um, and they all have a place in the city. So starting off down here, we've got um, Spider Queen. She has a, a textile shop. Bone Demon um, has a chiropractor's. Um, <laughs> of course. A lot of fun here, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a Lego vending machine with some old classic sets. Um, maybe or maybe not a Robo Rider, who knows? Uh, oh. there's, a, <laughs> there's a pavilion here for an opera version of Monkey King, uh, which is super, super nice that we can go back to his roots um, and give him uh, a fake staff, but also an opera face. Uh, there's, um, what else we got here? So yeah, there's the other side. Um, Red Sun has a barbecue. Um, there's a classic space elevator, which we really liked, uh, which, has, which is working. So it goes up and down. Whoa. And then back up again. Whoa. Um, but just to get those wall panels in Transiello was like super, super fun for us. Um, it's got a, a jade, um, jade store for uh, Nua, uh, which is a new character in at least the Monkey Kid universe, but definitely not in the Journey to the West. Uh, East, sorry. West? Journey yes. to the West. There we go. Thank you. Whoa. Back and forth. I've been traveling a lot. Uh, there's a record store for um, Golden Silverhorn Demon. And obviously, as you know, I love records. So that was my little homage to that. Um, there's what else we got? Um, Pixie has moved into, um, yep, 
roast duck. Um, so you may or may not recognize the roast duck logo here. And also there's an amazing um, bookshop for uh, Tang. And then, yeah, this uh, brilliant foil. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you want to talk about the... the uh, yeah, as you can see, we like foils in uh, <laughs> the team. So this one, I think it's a rather uh, complex shape and uh, obviously it represents like a cloud. We're trying to uh, show the skyscraper feel that is something quite tall. And uh, as Shodan mentioned, we have 16 figures, uh, including Mo, the cat. So technically 15 minifigures and the cat. And Justin gave some background on, uh, on some of them, but uh, uh, I will add a bit more to the macaque, who's a street artist now, and uh, obviously more street. And um, also the panda delivery boy, who's a bit of a recurring character, and now is, uh, is delivering on foot a lot of things and uh, a lot of boxes on his back, a lot of food boxes, but also a cool new printed uh, kind of like ramen generic uh, element in his bowl. Um, and um, I don't know, there's a lot of Easter eggs in the, yeah. a lot of stickers, a lot of details, which uh, I bet you like, and a lot of nods to the past uh, seasons. So. Uh, it's been fun and probably the best. <laughs> I think it's the best. I think that's yeah, one thing yeah, just to follow on from Paula, as this is the fifth anniversary of the, the Monkey Kid theme. Um, yeah, we really wanted to pay homage to yeah what's been before, but also yeah the legend. Um, and yeah, as we said, sneak in some Easter eggs. So I think yeah, last year I got the chance to do a. Um, Purple Spaceman in CTF, which was really, really funny. And then, yeah, a lot of buzz online was like, oh, I want more colors. So, um, yeah, there's a little machine in here called Time Claw, maybe based on Time Cruisers. And yeah, stuck in the green helmet. So, uh, for those that wanted to complete those, <laughs> I'll put that one in. Fan service for you. Um, and then, uh, yeah, there's loads of characters, loads of fun. Um, yeah. Um, I guess you ask questions to Xiaodong because Paul and I won't be here later on. So, yeah. yeah. Fire all the hard questions to Xiaodong, but I guess, yeah, we have time for one or two if you want to quickly. Ask or I don't know how this works. Can you remind us what the set name is, please? Megaopolis. Thank you. I think it's the fifth anniversary, Monkey Kid anniversary set. Yes. So eight zero zero five four. Is that many figures stand a part of the set? No, it's not, no, but it just looks not. pretty cool anyway. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you, can, you can build one at home, um, but yeah, we need something to, to hold the awesomeness. Um, but you do get the transparent stand for the um, the bot for. Uh, I think it's called Lee, um, which is the Speedy Panda guy, and then uh, 2D Gong um, has now turned digital, so uh, yeah, he's got a little, I don't know, info bot, um, which is pretty fun. But yeah, you get all the accessories, so you get the, the uh, paint roller for the macaque, you get um, the staff, so you, Sandy gets his water bottle, the flag for uh, MK, and he's got a super cool new torso, which is for the set. Um, also, I guess, yeah, one thing that we've totally uh, missed is you get a new element. Ooh. Ooh. So uh, we yeah. finally moulded the peach, so it fits Ooh. into the um, yeah. fits into the the fruit uh, realm. So much like the apple, um, but you get I think six of these or eight of these in this set. Um, so yeah, you, it's really really cool that you can yeah finally hold the eternal peach and, and gain as much wisdom as you want from it. Um, so yeah, that's the set. Cheers. <laughs> Matthew. Um, I'm interested with a set that's obviously got so much nostalgia for wider Lego as well as specific Monkey Kid. Um, what was the balancing act with this on providing things for kind of the wider Lego uh, fan community versus keeping it to the Monkey Kid story uh, and what's going on with uh, Monkey, T uh, Monkey Kid TV, etc.? Um, what's the, the balance there between the two? I mean, we work really, really closely with the team in Shanghai um, and also, yeah, Xiaodong, and, and just to make it as authentic authentically Chinese as possible. I mean, that's the first aim. The Lego is secondary, and I'm a big fan, um, so I try and sneak in with Paul and, and Xiaodong as many Lego references as we can, but at the end of the day, the Monkey Kid and the Monkey King legend is first and foremost. It's more if we need, like, oh, we need to do a camping poster, so why not do the Fabuland uh, characters on a camping thing here? Or, yeah, the Lego vending machine needs some toys in it, so it'd be great if we could put an X-Pod in it. So it's like just little things like that where we can sneak in the Lego references, but end of the day, Monkey Kid, Journey to the, uh, the West. West, and then, yeah, um, the, the Monkey Kid legend is, is first and foremost. And because it's a fifth anniversary set as well, we want to play upon that, and we want to celebrate the Monkey Kid universe. So question. Cool. Thank you. And there you have it, some of the absolutely most spectacular and gorgeous Lunar New Year sets that we've had to date, and indeed some of the most gorgeous Lego sets that we've had to date. These things are spectacular. What do you think of them? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also make sure that if you are purchasing these sets or any other Lego sets that you use either our QR code, which is on the screen now, or the link that's in the description down below, which takes you straight to the Lego website via our affiliate link, gives us a little bit of a kickback when you make a purchase, just helps to support the work that we do. Make sure that you also do all the rest of the YouTube things, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, put on all notifications 
notifications so that you get these videos as soon as they come out. Make sure that you go to brickfanatics.com for all of your LEGO news, and make sure that you sign up to our newsletter so that you never miss anything LEGO related ever, ever again. Gong hei fa choi!